Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. <laughs>
And then we've got Sound Barrier, the Battle Master that uh, Wheeljack was holding. And this guy is kind of interesting. He turns into a shield that almost looks like some sort of digital card, uh, which is kind of interesting. But the other cool thing about this figure is that he actually turns into a part for Ironworks in base mode. He can actually become one of the ramps, which is kind of interesting. Now, moving on to the Cyberverse line, this was really cool. We get the first Build-A-Figure for Transformers. I want to say since the anniversary series of Beast War figures where you got to build Transmute. So here we get to build McAdams, and, um, who's the old oil house uh, owner, the bartender on Cybertron. And I want to say... We first heard about the old uh, oil house back in Transformers Animated, where Ratchet and the cop were on Cybertron. They meet Rat Trap. If, if that's right, leave a comment down below. Uh, but I like that character on the show, and it's kind of fun. We get a Build-A-Figure. Some people are complaining that he doesn't transform, but in the show, he really doesn't. I mean, he transforms, but we see the shadow, and it's like he turns into a bigger battle bot. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm okay with this. I think it's fun. And to actually build McAdam, you need to get the Cyberverse figure, so we're of course going to get a new Bumblebee. Uh, and, and this is an okay Bumblebee. It looks like the series version of him. Um, I, I don't know, the Cyberverse uh, are hit or miss with me, and Bumblebee's definitely one of those. It looks okay. I'll just get him strictly for the Build-A-Figure part. And, of course, we're going to get a new Megatron. Again, this one looks okay. It's better than the Bumblebee figure, I think. I like the blast effect coming out of his uh, cannon there. That looks pretty cool. The tank mode, not too terribly bad. I kind of wish the missiles that we see on the tank uh, could pop out on the robot as well. Again, this is going to be a build-a-figure part uh, purchase for me as well. And if you have Megatron, you have to have Optimus Prime. Now, this one's a little interesting. We've got the Matrix with the Energy Blast coming out of it. So, you know, kudos for the creativity there. Um, again, I'll just buy this for the bath piece. Uh, the one thing about this is the vehicle looks really interesting with that massive fender on the front. I kind of like it. Makes pretty good for running over Decepticons. And then, of course, we get another Shockwave. I kind of like this robot mode. It's interesting. He has a gun that he's holding when his one hand is a gun. Uh, but it looks pretty cool with the little blast effect. Uh, definitely looks a little better than the previous uh, Shockwave we'd gotten. Unfortunately, he's still got this crappy alt mode. This would have been a perfect time for them to shake it up and make something better. But we did not get that happen. Now, did we? All right, and then the final reveal, uh, this picture actually is from Cybertron.com. Um, we get what appears to be the tease of our next Titan, which should be Scorponok. So this looks like, uh, is it Zarek or Black, Black Zarak or whatever you called him, um, the head of Scorponok, and he's, well, about the size of Starscream there. So that's pretty darn cool. Um, I always like Scorponok. That will probably be a figure that I pick up. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the big ones that got revealed over the weekend. What do you think? What are you looking forward to? Are you going to buy anything uh, You know, out of these lines? What would you like to see in the future? Uh, I'd love to see your comment down below or jump over to my Facebook page and join the conversation there. So thanks for watching and look for more videos in the future. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.